Allah Azza wa Jal says in the Quran, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Kulillaha a'abudu mukhlisun lahu deeni. Say, it is only Allah Azza wa Jal that I worship being sincere in my devotion to Him. And what is ikhlas? Right? The simple, most basic English translation to the word is sincerity. Right? Ikhlas meaning sincerity is the foundation of our deen of Islam and it is the cornerstone of our journey to Allah And so our sincerity refers to doing everything solely for the sake of Allah It means when me and you wish to do something not for the sake of other people to see but for Allah to see our actions and for Him to reward us for those actions. And so focusing in on Ramadan and focusing on our fasting, it teaches us the meaning of ikhlas. It teaches us the meaning of sincerity. The Prophet وسلم, he says, every action of the son of Adam is multiplied. A good deed receiving a tenfold to seven hundredfold reward. Allah Azza wa Jalla has said, except for fasting, it is for me. And I will personally reward it, he who abandons his desires and food for my sake. So how does fasting help us to attain ikhlas? From all of our actions, fasting is the only one that Allah Azza wa Jal is the only one who can tell. When we pray, when we give zakah, when we go for hajj, all of these other ibadat, other people are able to see. It is only this fasting that Allah is able to tell where our intention is. And so the slave stays away from eating, drinking, and fulfilling their desires only for the sake of Allah. We stay away from what we love in order to gain the pleasure of Allah. And so fasting is not something that we only actively do, but it is what we do not do. We don't eat, we don't drink, and there are few other things. No one else can ever be 100% certain if you are fasting. Even if you're fasting, you don't know 100% if your fasting will be accepted, if you are truly sincere or not. It may be that you have broken your fast in secret that you don't even know. There is something only Allah Azza wa Jal fully knows. And there will be moments in the day in which you could easily eat when another person is not knowing or when you are not by anybody else. However, you stop yourself from doing so because you are aware that Allah Azza wa Jal will always watch over you. And so the Prophet Sallallahu he quoted what Prophet Yahya said, in which I command you to fast. Indeed, the similitude of fasting is a man carrying a pouch of musk in a crowd of people, all of them marveling at its fragrance. Indeed, the breath of the fasting person is more fragrant to Allah Azza wa Jal than this musk. And so Ibn al-Qayyim, he explains that in this hadith, the Prophet Sallallahu he uses the image of someone carrying a pouch concealed from view, hidden underneath his garments, as was the habit of those who carry musk. And so fasting is likewise hidden from the eyes of men and unperceived by the senses. And so the last, and what do I want to take away from all of this, is how training and how fasting trains us to attain ikhlas in all of our aspects of life. As we know, and I have mentioned, fasting helps us to develop the sincerity because it's only something that Allah has a way to see and it teaches us our discipline and our willpower. And so we are vigilant of our intentions. The Prophet وسلم, says in our famous, very famous hadith, actions are according to the intentions. Before we begin our good deeds, we should rectify our intentions and only intend it for the pleasure of Allah Azza wa Jal. The purer and stronger the intention is, the greater the reward will be. And so a sincere intention can cause a pound donated in charity to become the equivalent of donating a thousand dollars. One dollar will equal a thousand dollars if the sincerity is above that who is donating a thousand dollars. 
And so how many a small act is elevated by the attention and how many a great act can be diminished by the attention. Similarly, an intention can transform an or an ordinary action such as eating, such as sleeping, into an act of worship. If you make the intention for the sake of Allah Azza wa Jal, it becomes a reward. And so I do want to finish off with this, that today's topic is about how to attain a higher level of sincerity, a higher level of ikhlas, and how we can benefit from this in our Ramadan this year, and how we can benefit from it every single day starting from today. May Allah Azza wa Jal accept it from each and every one of us, accept all of our ibadat, accept all of our salah, all of our du'as, and forgive all of our sins. Amen.